All right, today I'm going to introduce you to my Mega Dart Strong Arm. I just finished it yesterday, as of time of recording. <clears throat> um, not really any issues. Um, the I need to work on. Well, I can't because my my laptop's dead. Um, if you hold it slightly this way, then the the um the cylinder it moves, and it can cause seal issues as well as let's see if you can see bound down there. The mega dart will move off to the side and catch. <clears throat> Um, the mods I've done to this, so far, I'm gonna paint it up, um, put either a 4.5 kilogram or a 6 kilogram spring in here. Um, but what I've done to it now is, did a custom seal, actually I had to put two on there, because this is a prototype or it was a prototype cylinder and the I had messed up and I made this go up too far I had that is I, I originally tested it in a flip fury and I had to pull back the flip fury cylinder like <laughs> a lot to get it to uh, to seal and actually fire <clears throat> um, other modifications include filling in the hole on the plunger, taking the AR out, and I, I believe that's it. I didn't really do anything else to it. It's stock spring right now. It shoots 45 FPS, which that's kind of low, but I guess it's fine for a... Um, it's fine for a, a sidearm. Especially in like HVZ, where this is going to shine. Uh, hold six shots. It uses the stock um, orange rotator bit right there. So, if you wanted to do like a a, a cylinder swap... Uh, a drop cylinder mod you could you would need to either design yourself or um, sacrifice like a fit a flip fury or something to make use of the bat of the pegs in the back but you can you can do a drop cylinder because it's six shots I didn't change anything else internally so you could fire boom co I made a couple shotgun boomco cylinders mega elite or ultra i don't think i can fit rival in here that is a very close thing as it is <clears throat> but um and the the shots are pretty reliable too let's see if i can if i can do this one handed yeah that's that's one. This is very difficult to do one-handed. Ah. What? Did it skip? It does that occasionally, and I think that's an not an issue with the cylinder itself. It's just an old strong arm that I got from a shop goodwill listing had a I was, I was going for the sludge fire honestly I guess this was a good whatever so yeah I'm gonna paint it as well hopefully uh, I don't know if I want to keep the stripe going that's something I'll have to think about that but I think I think I want to do, I want to keep all the orange bits orange. I want to do the body, except for the handle, and maybe the slide in metallic cobalt blue. Uh, some rust stuff. 
and maybe silver accents. Not exactly sure if I want to do the silver accents. I feel like that might be. I, I have something similar to that on my on my hammer shots. Some really good hammer shots. So these. <clears throat> I guess I should go over these as well. They're 3.2. Well, they were before I had to cut them down. I had to cut them down 20 millimeters because in a strong arm, the cylinder comes out. So if they're 20, mil 20 millimeters up, they, they collide. I think you can get around this problem with a disruptor since the cylinder is fixed. I'm pretty sure that you could just cut here and be able to use full megas but yeah these are heavier than regular megas these are 3.2 stock um i've had issues with the heads just kind of falling off it's like there's not even glue on them um yeah so 3.2 45 um fps average um i did cut down ah don't fall a regular mega for it and it fired it fired uh, 55 on an average <sighs> oh that could be an issue maybe they're okay I'm like maybe they're so heavy that once you get past a couple of them, um, in the middle of the in the middle of the the rotation, it like catches because on the shot on the on the <laughs> the the cylinder dump with those, I had one skip, so that could be an issue. I'll have to look into that. Oh yeah, this is my my mega strong arm. I think it'll be really good. It's sleeker than a it's more sleek, compact. Um it has this so you can do um cylinder drop mods. Um the performance is down on a cyclone shock, but it also has it also has slam fire. <clears throat> Not that that just showed you anything, but yeah, it has slam fire. It might also be really good as a as a master key. It has three more shots than a Magnus. <clears throat> um, and it is slam fire, so that could be really good as a replacement for the Magnus in Captain Xavier's uh, Strifle. The, the crew auxiliary designated rifle. <clears throat> um, I'll probably put a, a Thingiverse link to this down there. Um, and I'm probably going to sell this. My, my laptop, it, the hard drive died recently, and it's an old laptop anyway. So I believe I'm just going to replace it. And my, my 3D printer is down as well. I guess I got one of the bad batches with the really crappy XT60. The, the knockoff XT60. And after a year and two months, <clears throat> I was doing some maintenance and I saw some burn marks on, like, on the desk and on the... Um, on the connector itself. So I'm really lucky that it didn't just catch fire while I was sleeping because I did I did three really long prints before that. <clears throat> but but yeah, hopefully hopefully I'll have an update on this maybe halfway through or when it's completely done with paint and everything. So see ya.